and our Redeemer. Amen. Here is what the disciples did after Jesus was killed, according to the Bible. Many of them locked themselves in a room together and prepared for an attack. That's where Jesus finds Thomas in the reading for next week. Some of them, within days, went back to their fishing boats and restarted their trade. Peter started running. Why or to what? He didn't know. Mary just wept. This story, the Easter story, is our story. It is our story every time. Because every time things get really hard, we think we are alone. When things get bad and the dark parts of ourselves and the world become visible, when the forces of despair and death are lifted up and they are all we can see, we fall for the lie. The lie that we are alone, the lie that this is the end, the lie that the darkness is the true reality. The Easter story is our story, our story every time. Because when we get to the tomb, we expect to find a body. We expect to find a body and nothing else. And so, like the disciples, we lock ourselves in. We bury ourselves in work. We run and rush full of urgency and anxiety, but we don't know where we are going We don't know what we are looking for. Our eyes become so full of grief, exhaustion, overwhelm, so full of the bad news that we cannot see clearly. The Easter story is our story because every time the darkness engulfs us, we think, this is it. This is all there is. This is the end of my story. This is the end of the line. I've screwed it up so bad this time. There's no coming back now. And every time, and every time, it turns out that there is more. And so we remember the Easter story. We remember our story, how Mary, that tower of faith, goes to the tomb to weep and to mourn and to say goodbye once and for all. And instead, Jesus is there waiting for her to see him. Jesus is there saying, this is not the end. This is not the end. I have gone into hell into all of the hells that you managed to make for yourselves. And the door, to me, is open. I have gone into the tomb, into all the tomb-like places that you managed to make for yourselves, and I have rolled the stone away. Jesus said, I am pulling away the shrouds of separation that you pull between yourselves and God, between yourselves and your true nature as my children, made in my image. I have died. You have done your worst. I have seen your worst. And even so, this story is not over. Jesus says this, is not the end. I am not done with you yet. I will never be done with you. There is nowhere you can go where I am not. Death and despair are not the truth. 
there is more life, more light, more to this story, more good news than you could ever imagine. The tomb is not the truth. This is. Death has been defeated. Hell is overcome. The bad things do not get the last word, no matter how much it might feel like it sometimes. When we find ourselves lying in the tomb, Jesus rolls the stone away, opens the doors we have locked, wipes the tears from our eyes, and calls us by our names. Jesus waits for us to notice, waits for us to stop running, waits for us to listen for his call. And when we do, he leads us out into the light. We emerge and we see that Jesus is right there beside us, even as he was even in the tomb. And he is right here beside us, even now. We are not the same as we come out into the light. Many of us have scars. We have scars from the tombs we have been in. Scars you can see and scars you can't, like those on Jesus' body. But we also know something. We know something new. We know something about the resurrection. We know something about new life. The stone is rolled away. The door is opened. There is a way where there was no way. New life and new hope and new creation. This is true here in this life, and it is true also in the next. This is our story, and we tell it. We proclaim that Christ went to the very tomb for us, and there is nowhere Christ has not been, nowhere Christ cannot go, nowhere he will not follow, and nowhere that we can be trapped forever. Death cannot hold us. Hell cannot hold us. Christ lives again, and so will we all. Death has been defeated, and love does win. Christ is risen. risen Christ is risen. risen Hallelujah. 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 And amen.